one of the things you're going to want to do for your uh, project is upload an image from a form. So I thought I'd give you a few pointers on that. So I'm going to start in, uh, this is actually my um, user CRUD application, the same one that I had before. Um, yep, yeah, all of the usual CRUD operations work and so on. Uh, what I This add user form, I've made two changes to. So I've added an input for an image. So type equals file, I've said accept all images. And this capture means I think that it will automatically open up your phone camera if you're on your phone, which would be pretty useful or that kind of thing. Anyway, uh, the other change I've made is I've put this at the top. It won't accept that over in Flask otherwise. So that's straightforward. That just allows you to select an image to upload in the form. Now let's have a look at the, uh, when we've posted that information, the things that we have to do. So obviously I do, I get the image. So instead of request.form, it's request.files. Fair enough. And that brings a, a file through. Now let's talk about a complicated issue. File name. Uh, we have to be a little bit careful with file names because we could have it that um, people use the same file name. So it's pretty common, for example, if you are working with cameras to have an image called camera.jpg and someone uploads that and then they upload another one called the same and that's a problem. So I decided that I wanted to have a unique identifier or some way of uniquely identifying the image, but it also needed, of course, to go into the database. So in my database, I've got a, a field for the file name. Anyway, long way round, but what I've chosen to do is I've chosen to use a unique identifier. So this is built into Python. You can generate a unique identifier each time. It's just a gibberishy list of uh, letters and numbers. So I generate a unique identifier, uh, but I need to have a file name. So I've grabbed the file name using this from profile pick, this profile pick, and grabbed its file name. Uh, and then that grabs the extension of it. It's a bit of a mess, this line, but um, it does the job. So you, you can just basically pick the bones out of that and use what you need to. And then I've chosen to save it in this path. Now I've chosen, I've put it in the static uh, folder. Now static shouldn't be stuff that we're uploading and uh, all the rest of all the time. It should be for like CSS and JavaScript that doesn't change. Uh, but I found that in the Ginger, it was relatively hard to point it towards a folder for an image that wasn't in images. We'll see that in a minute. So quick and dirty workarounds. I've just jammed everything into the images folder. And that works. So I've got the pick name, which I generated. I save the picture and I do this thing to say, save it in that folder with that name that I generated. So although it's only two lines of code, there's quite a lot packed into that. So look at it carefully, make sense of that. Uh, now, from there, it's relatively easy. Um, I, I've got that field in my database now. So I put the name into that database. Job done. And nothing different there. So now what I've got is I've got the file saved in this folder here and the file name is linked to it in the database. And then back over here in index.html, when I want to display the image with this line here, I use this URL for inside static, I go get to the images folder and the user.profile pick uh, just came from the select statement over here, profile pick, that's the users which is being passed here and then i'm doing for user in users up here and then this is my user.profile pick just to follow the whole path through uh, i did find that if i did not have a profile pick saved for a user 
it uh, spat the dummy a bit when I tried to join these two things together because this was a none type and this was a string type. So I said, okay, if there is no profile pick, then I made a little blank.jpg. Let's check it works. So add a user. I'm going to add a user. I think Mr. Corner will get the privilege today. Uh, so Mr. Corner and choose a file. And I've got a file ready, my profile pick.png, submit that. And there we go. It's uploaded that. And uh, I wonder if I'm in the right folder to just see. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of junk in here. Uh, I thought it might be worth just going in and having a look in static images. See, this is the file name that was generated by that UUID thing. You can see I've already done an example here, and there's that blank.png. So what I haven't done, of course, is the update. So if I go back into here and I click update, there's nothing in here about a image. Uh, so that would need to be fixed. And also I have cheated a little bit um, in that my profile pic here, I when I saved it ready to upload, I did actually make it exactly the right size. So you need to be quite careful about people uploading super large images. I, there are a couple of libraries for compressing images. They're not necessarily easy to use. Um, or you can just manage how they're displayed in the HTML and CSS using Bootstrap. Anyway, so um, hopefully that's enough. There's not a massive amount actually of code in here. You know, it, like I say, it was just um, these couple of three lines really over here and then one line over here. Uh, but actually it took quite a lot of work to get them all to behave properly. And uh, there's quite a lot of troubleshooting involved in that. So you do need to have your wits about you. Good luck.